Hey guys, I'm back. So, I know in my last video I mentioned how I was doing really well at the temptation of Michaels not to buy yarn. Victory was mine that day. That day is the emphasis. I'm going to tell you a little story. This is what happened in the last, say, six, last eight days. As I said in my last, I've gotten into more social media, gotten into Instagram. What I've also gotten into was Pinterest, which is another website that, you know, you can scroll through, find objects you like, and pin it to a board. And what I've done with it is I basically created some pin boards where I post pictures of projects that I've created plus patterns that I've seen out there that I want to create at some point and as well as what I've done is create like in I called it inspiration station where I place a lot of the I guess you'd say it as more I guess you could call it like a like a free form crochet so a bit more artistic a bit more a, a bit more of an esoteric take on it and it's quite inspiring so it's a good way to express what I feel through crochet art on these boards but one I also did as a little tip to try to abstain from compulsive yarn shopping compulsive yarn addiction compulsive yarn acquiring collecting compulsive yarn hoarding I don't know whatever we'll come up with the term of it as a way to avoid that is I find is I created a board on there which was I think I called it yarn desires basically if I could find any images or any types of yarn that I would love to possess I just created a pin board and I pinned it there so I can look at it and I'm like oh it's mine <laughs> It's mine, at least um, metaphorically. I found it, I pinned it, and it's in a little collection of mine. So as opposed to actually having a ball of yarn that's just sitting there that I'm not using, I could have it as basically as like almost like a thumbnail, as something that I know that if I come across this yarn again, or if I really want this for it, I know what it is. And that's another tip I find too, is that it's a way to, if you really think that this yarn might be creative and interesting, you can do explorations with it, and then, and then also have a way to refer back to it if you really need it at that point. So I found that that's helped me a lot. I hope it's helpful for you guys.